So if you're like me, you probably own a couple keyboards already and maybe in different uh, form factors or layouts or something like that, but you're still looking for a keyboard that could do everything when it comes to gaming and one of the best keyboards out there. I'm gonna go ahead and give my thoughts and personal opinions on a keyboard that's kind of blew up on YouTube and that is the Wooting 60HE and it's apparently the best gaming keyboard out there on the market today. I kind of want to talk about the pros and cons in my personal experiences. This is not coming from somebody who can mod keyboards or who is a super high competitive esports player. I'm just your average Joe. Um, and I just wanted to give my thoughts and opinions after purchasing this keyboard, waiting for the shipping and everything and actually finally getting it. And I've been using it for about almost three months now. With that being said, I have covered other keyboards on the channel. And one of them is one of the videos that kind of blew up for my channel. And this is the, uh, Corsi themed keyboard you can get on Amazon for around 80 bucks. It's, uh, from XVX and uh, I think another company as well that partnered up, but this one is obviously uh, themed or pre-themed, I should say. Um, it looks obviously really, really nice. Um, the keycaps and everything, again, you can watch that dedicated video if you're interested in it. They do have a uh, mouse pad and a mouse and an actual uh, custom coiled cable that you can get like all as a set. I did another video, well, within that video, I talked about this keyboard, which is kind of the same thing, but done by uh, a company called Skylong. Um, and I just put uh, my own keycaps on this keyboard, but this is what I ended up doing because I'm a huge fan of Demon Slayer. So I put my own keycaps on it um, just because I wanted to see getting into keyboards uh, what kind of keyboard I wanted to use. Did I want the arrow keys, which these are arrow, arrow keys. Do I want um, the Gateron yellows, um, which both of these the two keyboards are Gateron yellows. I ended up liking this form factor a lot because with me, I uh, edit a lot. I had one of those big old keyboards, full side keyboards. So when I started learning keyboard and mouse, I was noticing my mouse kept hitting my keyboard. So I wanted something smaller. So I went ahead and purchased before those two keyboards that I initially reviewed was the Raisin Huntsman, Huntsman Mini. This is a different edition though. Uh, this is the special edition, uh, but I went ahead and put my wife's uh, keycaps on the keyboard itself which is a uh, Demon Slayer Nezuko keyboard uh, keycaps. But these are a little bit different. They sound a little bit different. I uh, I like the way this one sounds. These are their reds. Um, the, what I had was their optical purples or clicky purples or something tactile purple uh, switches, which was way too loud even after me changing stuff up for my microphone uh, for stream. It was way too loud with those switches. So then I ended up getting um, the two keyboards that I previously mentioned. Lastly, the keyboard that I ended up getting and I used uh, extensively for months on end until um, I would say I've been using this one for about like five months or so um, until I got the rooting. And uh, it was the big brother to the Coral C 60% keyboard. It's more of a 84 keys, so it's like a 75% keyboard, but I like the layout. The only thing I don't like about this keyboard is this shift key not being uh, the regular size being a, a, a little bit smaller and the reason why i don't like the uh, keyboards that do that is because if you get custom keycaps it depending on the keycaps that you get you might not get that small shift key because if i wanted to do something like this one i got from my wife which is the nezuko one um this shift key there is no replacement for a small shift key um, so sometimes the keycaps come uh, sets I know come with the spare one just in case, but some of the ones I have gotten in the past do not come with that option. Moving on to the wooting, since I got it in, um, this is mine, I guess you could say. Uh, it's still in the same, obviously, default case. Um, it's a little dusty and everything, but same default case, same switches and everything, never changed anything about that. It's just a, a very, very nice uh, Zenitsu little uh, keycap set that I found on AliExpress. And if you're interested in this one or the Nezuko one, then I'll put uh, all the Demon Slayer uh, links to the shops or wherever on AliExpress. Obviously it's AliExpress, you're gonna have to wait a while, which is going to be my first con of the looting or whatever, is the whole waiting and shipping and just getting delayed and delayed and delayed. I know that's what you're doing, you know, they're making it kind of like to order and then when they have a batch they just ship them out i understand that but 
paying that much money and still having to wait because it's like a hundred and like sixty dollars or whatever for just for the keyboard but if you want it like next day like fly ship once it's shipped out or wherever and you want it to fly direct to you in like two days or wherever then it's like 200 so basically you're going to be paying 200 if you're smart you're just going to go ahead and do that and not wait it's just the whole waiting and getting notified like three times that my shipment was going to be delayed they do a good job of updating people sending emails i did get that and that's one pro of the company i will say they're constantly updating constantly telling people uh what's going on and keeping uh them in the loop which i think a lot more uh companies out there should do something like that so a hundred percent like hats hats off to rooting for doing that but i think it's just an unfortunate side effect of you know it is what it is it's going to happen if you do something like this and that's just something i want people to know or make aware of because everybody has talked about this keyboard i've only seen one video where somebody was saying uh about that is like you're going to purchase into it you're going to have to wait and get delays possibly uh my second con is that i really wish that they had again this layout i really wish they had more layout options um as far as i know it's probably like a small company but they only have two keyboards and one is the the full size keyboard which is massive which i think it would be good if you casually like play games that weren't too uh i guess stressful or too to the point to where like fps's and stuff like that if you were just playing some games and you like the switches and you like a full size keyboard a lot of people complained about them only having a 60 percent and that massive keyboard but in my personal opinion I think they went ahead and knocked it out of the park by doing a 60% and a full size keyboard before they start doing other ones. So that way they get the majority of people get the feedback before they go in and fine tune and get other keyboard layouts. But again, my personal con is that if they had something like this and it was full on like in this exact layout other than having the shift key be a little bit bigger so I could put you know, the custom keycaps on it. I'm gonna put on screen, it's from uh, Keychron. I think they have a version of a keyboard layout like this, um, but I think it's the, the V7 uh, QMK or something like that. But if they had that form factor with these switches, cause golly, I love the switches and I love what the actual keyboard does as far as gaming. Um, but I will say, if you're gonna put on, I think the rapid triggers or the tachyon mode, you can fine tune the responsiveness of the triggers uh, of the switches when you let go or you ease pressure off or something like that. I would say, do not put them on on all, on all keys. Um, that's something I did just to generically, hey, I want all my keys to be as fast as possible because again, I use this on a setup where I have two PCs and I have a toggle switch or whatever to switch my mouse and keyboard over from one PC to another. And, um, and I have to use this keyboard on both PCs and I have the rooting or whatever hooked up to that switcher as well as a four slot or whatever. So it switches over my mouse, my power play, uh, you know, mouse pad, and then these two keyboards get swapped back and forth, like editing or something like that. I still have to use this keyboard. That's just somebody who has two PCs. I understand not everybody's gonna run into this problem, but again, having two PCs trying to do this uh, swap back and forth with the keyboard, unfortunately, sometimes even when I swap back to the to my gaming PC, which has the program loaded and stuff like that, it takes forever to detect that the keyboard is actually uh, hooked up even when I'm not switching the keyboards and I'm just turning on my gaming PC and it's just hooked up to my gaming PC. It still takes forever to realize that, hey, this is the profile and this is the keyboard and it's actually attached. Now, speaking of that, every time you have to go in and actually select your profile, at least for me, I've not seen a way to actually select the default profile that you want to be used on this keyboard. So every time I boot up my gaming PC or I swap to my stream PC and swap back, I still have to go in that program, whether it's downloaded or on the web and select the actual profile that I want to use this keyboard on this keyboard. It doesn't seem to save it to the keyboard like, hey, I don't want the typing profile. I want the gaming profile. So what I had to end up doing was going into the, the typing profile and just making it into a gaming profile. So every time I switch, it's already activated. Like I said, don't make all your keys the same response time, I guess you could say the rapid trigger and the tech don't make them all the same. 
because I noticed, at least for me, as you can see, I have skinny hands. And what I noticed is that, especially in Call of Duty, where your tactical sprint is to like shift or something like that, whatever key you want, at least mine is shift. Um, I noticed at first, I thought it was the actual key, uh, not the key, the, either the keycap or the switch, but I, I removed the switch and I used a different keycap and everything because the board comes with two uh, switches. Uh, spares so I went ahead and did that and I still had the same issue I don't know if it's because of the response time or the actuation force before you like let up this the shift key key to stop sprinting it automatically just cuts off like I could be literally in game sprinting trying to snipe people because that's what I do a snipe in Call of Duty and my guy would just stutter he would just act like he's running and then stops running running and stops running but again for whatever reason i don't know maybe it's just my pinky maybe i'm not hitting the key right when i'm playing call of duty um i've tried it you know straight like this in call of duty and having my arm turned a little bit in, in call of duty and for whatever reason i don't know if it's just the game i don't know if it's the keyboard not registering or whatever but i would definitely suggest changing that option or wherever but overall rooting if you are watching this i really do think that this keyboard is really good um it's just a couple gripes like i sw said switching pcs is kind of a problem that's just my thoughts and opinions of the rooting 60 he it's a really good gaming keyboard i think that anybody who's seen any videos about this keyboard uh, will go ahead and be like yo i want this keyboard i think it's the best i honestly just love the typing experience with the keyboard even default without even doing any kind of mods or anything to it i love the way the switch is filled comparatively to all the other keyboards that i have and have been using um, again, I just really wish that it had this form factor. I would love that and I would actually purchase that and still keep my uh, rooting 60% um, just because now that I have it and I experience the responsiveness other than that shift problem that I mentioned, um, it, comparatively to using the other keyboards and just Call of Duty alone, I haven't really stepped in back into Apex because I've been tired of battle royales but um just seeing what people are able to do over there they even have this own fortnite mode and stuff on it so again i think this is the best gaming keyboard out there that you can currently still buy please please wooting i i don't know if you're ever going to see this video but again if you could make that form factor um for the next i guess version or iterations of your keyboards some people would love to have a keyboard that has the arrow keys and has like the delete key and all that stuff um, just for editing and I know some people, you know, don't like having two keyboards on their desk. It can be cumbersome having two, uh, one for gaming and then moving it out of the way and then typing and stuff like that. So it would really help me declutter my desk and I imagine other people's desk as well. Do I think you should get it? Um, honestly, if you're, uh, I guess, somebody who takes gaming seriously and you want to, to have that competitive edge, then yes, by all means, go ahead and get it. It is a content creator, I mean, like me, who's editing and all that stuff, you're still gonna want a keyboard that has a backup. So if you're interested in this keyboard, which again is only like $80 or something like that, form factor, I'll leave it down in the description down below. I think there's another red and black version of this or whatever, um, but it's a different um, theme, but it's a red and black one. So you can definitely check it out. So that's just my thoughts and opinions. With that being said, my name has been Squidhead Joe. Hopefully you guys enjoyed your time here in the fish tank and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, have a squid-tastic day. God bless you and yours and deuces everybody. Wooting, I'm watching, I'm, I'm, I'm watching. Thank you.